fellow Diamond Painting Addicts, and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne, and I'm here today to bring you some tips for enhancing your canvas. Once I dove into diamond painting, I quickly discovered AB drills. In fact, my very first diamond art club that I did had AB drills in it. So there's lots of tips and tricks to learn along the way during your time in painting journey, but I get asked questions all the time about adding bling to your canvas and how I decide what to do and how other people can approach it. So after answering questions from people, I sat down and wrote out kind of the five things that I think are most important if you're going to add bling to a canvas. Let's dive right in. So many people are intimidated when it comes to kind of personalizing or adding bling that I thought I would do this because I don't think it should be intimidating. Maybe that's just my mindset, but I don't think it should be intimidating. So I'm gonna kind of walk you through what I do with a canvas if I'm going to add some bling and give you those five tips and then I'll have some other things to share with you at the end. So the first thing you need to do if you're gonna enhance a canvas is make a plan. Once you open your kit and you kind of see the drills, you've got the schematic, you know what your DMC codes are, then you can start planning on how to add some bling. When I first started diamond painting, all you had were AB drills. So AB drills are Aurora Borealis drills is what it stands for. And they are just drills that have an extra iridescent coating. So all they do is just take the regular DMC drills and add a special coating to the top of them and it gives them that extra kind of iridescent shine. So the first thing to do, like I said, is to look at your schematic. So I've just printed out, I have this canvas here because I don't know if I'm gonna get a chance to work on it or not, but we'll see. I, I, I'm not gonna add any bling to this one, but this is the schematic for this particular canvas. When I get a canvas like this, if it doesn't come with stickers and everything like some of the premium kits do, I just scan it into my computer and then I print it out so I can cut it and turn it into the stickers for my containers. But this is just the image, the scanned image. And you can see here, I've got all of the little symbols, but I've also got all of my DMC codes. So DMC codes are what I would use to add what I want to do. Now, like I said, when I very first started diamond painting, the only options available were AB drills. And they had special shaped drills, but other than AB drills, there, there wasn't a thing. Now, there's the fairy dust drills with the mica powder on them. You have glitter drills. You have glow-in-the-dark drills. You have the metallic drills. You have the rhinestone crystals that some people include in their kits. So you can do pretty much anything you want, including special shape drills if that's something you want to do. The sky is the limit. You can replace any drill you want with any other drill that you want. It's your canvas, you can do what you want with it. There are two things that I avoid though, generally, and that is for 310 and skin tones. I generally will not substitute any of those for ABs. And the reason why is 310 of course is black and is generally used for shadows, dark spots, night skies, that kind of thing especially being used for shadows. I don't like to substitute it for the AB drills because as you can see here, they kind of make it look like a, a yellow, greenish, bluish tinge. And I just feel like that is not the greatest look, especially when you're talking about something that's supposed to kind of fade into to the background. I mean, the whole point of a shadow is that fades in and you can't really see it. And if you're adding ABs, then I just feel like it doesn't look quite the same. And for skin tones, I don't like doing it in skin tones because we're not twilight vampires. Our skin doesn't glow in the sunlight. So I feel like that detracts from it. That being said, those are my personal opinions. If you don't mind how it looks on either of those things, then go for it. Something else to consider is kind of your image as a whole. Again, I don't like adding ABs for the skin or the 310, but I might throw in a couple like if it's a night sky. Maybe I want it to look like there's a few stars in the background or something like that. You can also look at your canvas and see, is there a spot where ABs make sense or specialty drills? Like when I was doing my Jules and Vern canvas, there was a lot, it was a steampunk kit 
So steampunk has a lot of like metal and gears. And so there were several places where I added in metallic drills because it just made sense. Like I think I did buttons on her clothing and maybe on the little owl that was on her shoulder. I think I added some to like buckles would be a good place, that kind of thing. So just consider the image as a whole and figure out where it makes sense to so make a plan. So then number two, what after you have a plan, what do you have to do? You have to get your drills. If you keep your spares like I do, you may have ABs and other things on hand that you can pull from. But if you're brand new or you don't keep your drills, you may need to purchase drills. And there are a lot of good companies out there. I've used DP with sparklers. I've used Diamond Drills USA. There's a lot of companies out there that sell drills. I've had good experiences with both of those companies. I think I've used DP with sparklers the most. That's where I've gotten most of my AB drills and other specialty drills. But you can get them wherever you want. And like I said, not only is there all kinds of colors <laughs> and extras now with the fairy dust and the metallic and the glitter and whatever else, the jelly drills, there's a, there's a ton of different kinds out there. So just think about what you want. And like I said, there's also special shape drills. There's quad cubes, there's, you can get rectangular ones, you can save. If you do a lot of special shaped drill canvases, maybe you do a lot of partials, you can save your extras and add those in somewhere if you want. Also, you can get sets of drills from a lot of companies. I know, especially like the fairy dust drills seem to be very popular right now, but you can get sets of colors so that if you want to do that, you can do it. It is an additional cost if you're not someone who saves your, own, your extra drills, but if you want to add the bling, it's a fun way. You can also just run to like Joann's or Michael's, your local craft store. They sell well, Joanne sells diamond dots. I don't know if Michael's does anymore because now they have their own make market brand. But at my local Joanne's, they carry like a little rack of all different kinds of colors that you can buy in the jars for the diamond dot drills. And you can pick up ABs and they sell even, I think, packs of five. So there'll be five colors, five bottles of drills that you can pick up and, and play around with. And they're not that expensive. So once you have made a plan and you have your drills, you just can exchange them based on DMC color. So for instance, in this particular kit, it has three tin in it, I showed you, and I could substitute for this. Now, I've already explained that I don't like to substitute for three tin, but I could if I wanted to. I have two kind of yellow colors, yellow orange colors in here. So here is the 742 from the kit, and here is my 742 AB. And you can see they're pretty close in color. One of the ways that you can kind of match up colors for ABs, especially if you don't know if for sure what color the AB is, Diamond Art Club, Diamond Dots, and other companies may include ABs in their canvases. But a lot of times, especially Diamond Dots and Diamond Art Club, they use their own specialty code. So you have to have a conversion table and those are available, but it's easy if you don't have the DMC to just kind of eyeball it. Look at the back of the AB drill and match that up with your actual drill and see if the colors are close. Sometimes they are and you get lucky and also they're the same DMC. Sometimes a different DMC may match better than what the DMC they're telling you is. It just depends. Die lots are different between different companies. So matching them by the back of the drill can often get you a lot closer if that's important to you. For me, I kind of figure it doesn't matter. I'm looking at the top of the drill anyway, and if it's slightly off, then I might be okay with it. So again, matching by eyeball rather than color. In this particular bag of drills, you can kind of see, or I hope you can anyway, these down here, the bottoms of them, are quite a bit darker than some of these other ones up here. They're lighter. Even though they were both labeled 210 ABs and I put them both in my 210 AB bag, they are not exactly the same color. Now, when I put them on the canvas, you probably will not be able to tell, but just something to keep in mind if matching them exactly is important to you. So after making your plan, getting your drills, and then figuring out how you're going to exchange your regular drills for your AB drills, then it's time to put them on the canvas. I just have always kind of jumped in with both feet because I figure what's the worst that can happen. If I don't like it, I can always take the drills off. I will confess, I've never had that happen. 
there might have been something that I wasn't in particular pleased with, but nothing that bothered me enough that I felt like I needed to remove them and do it again. And I will say, even in kits that come with ABs, there have been times where the, the designed ABs or specialty drills in the kit, I did not like either. So it's not, it's just a matter of personal preference, I think. You can exchange an entire DMC. So for example, if I wanted to switch out all of my 742s for the ABs, I could do that. Something I keep in mind is how many do I have on hand? Obviously there's a lot more 742 that came with the kit than I have on hand. So in that case, if I was going to add those ABs, rather than replacing them all, I would just randomly sprinkle in some ABs just to give it that little bit of extra shimmer. For something like this, where I have a sufficient amount of ABs, I might replace all the ABs in the kit with this because I have enough of them. Again, it depends on if you're buying the drills yourself, if you're working from spares, what you have on hand, that sort of thing. But don't be afraid when you're placing drills that you're gonna make a mistake or you're gonna somehow ruin your diamond painting. You're not. And I think the last thing that I wanna tell you guys is you do you. Like I think that's the biggest tip and the biggest takeaway for a lot of things diamond painting related. These days, most companies include some sort of specialty drill, whether that's an AB or a fairy dust or a metallic drill or a glow in the dark drill or a specialty shape drill. You can just buy a kit and get some of those and try them out. They've already charted everything, so it should look good. But if you wanted to get some kits or you have some older kits or you've bought from companies who don't include those sort of things, then you can practice putting them in yourselves. And like I said, there's a ton of different things. I bought, these are quad cubes. So they take up this one cube takes up the same space as four regular squares. And there's all different kinds of shapes that you can get, like I said. You can get the regular ABs in round and squares. You can get crystals, the rhinestones with the silver backing. You can get those in round or squares as well. My only complaint about these, the squares not so much, but the round ones somehow tend to be a bit bigger than regular round drills. I'm not quite sure why that is, but you can get glitter drills. I don't know if you can see here. These have little glitter spots on the top of them. You can get the fairy dust drills. These are drills that have the mica powder on top of them. But you can find a kit. Diamond Art Club has a lot of kits. Dreamer Designs, Oraloa, all the big companies, Bella Art, all the big companies and some of the smaller ones have kits that include ABs or some other kind of specialty drill. Some of them include more than that. I know I've done craftably canvases before that included both ABs and crystals. So if you want to try something out without having to go to all of the expense of buying your own drills, figuring out where you wanna place them and all of that, that's a good place to start. Alternatively, there are some drill companies now, and I think it was DP with Sparklers. You can go to their website and they offer enhancement kits. So essentially they have taken a particular canvas from a company and they have designed, these are where the specialty drills are gonna be added in, substituting ABs, substituting specialty shape drills, that kind of thing for that particular kit. And you can just buy that package from them and they've taken kind of a lot of the guesswork out of it. However, I find it fun to kind of add my own. I always save my AB drills Again, if you're not someone who saves drills, then that's fine, but I do. So I always have drills on hand. I have square, I have round. I have some that I have just collected from leftovers. I have some that I have actually purchased from different places. I think these came from shimmering canvases. So lots of different places that you can get them. However, again, like I said, you do you. It is an extra expense. If you're getting a kit that doesn't have ABs and you're going to add them in yourself, and if you don't have spares on hand, it is an extra expense to go out and buy a bunch of specialty drills. And you may not know exactly what quantities you want. You may not know exactly how many you need, depending on if you have an inventory sheet that tells you number of drills, that kind of thing. So it is an extra financial investment to add specialty drills to your kit. Not everyone has the budget to do that. 
Not everyone has the budget to buy some of the premium company's kits that have those things included. Also, some people just don't like ABs. I mean, I've seen people who have said, well, I tried adding in ABs and I just didn't like the way it turned out. Again, for me, I think some of it is experimenting and figuring out what you like and what you don't. For most people, whatever you do is either gonna sit in your portfolio and maybe in that case you don't care, or it's something you're planning to hang up in your home, you're gonna see it all the time, so you want it to look nice. But like I said, for me personally, I bought, I don't know if I bought any of the square 310s, but I did buy these 939. However, for like the dark colors, the 939, the same as the 310, 939 is a very, very dark brown. It looks almost black and it gets used in a lot of shadows and things, same as the 310. And so for that reason, that's why I have a lot of these left. They just don't look as good to substitute them in. And since I generally substitute directly by the DMC, I end up with some colors that I have a lot of. So you can see here, here are the actual 939 drills, and they look quite a bit different than the 939ABs. These are much more of a kind of a greenish blue versus this very, very dark brown, almost black, that is gonna blend into the background. So I think you just, like I said, have to be aware of what you like, what you don't, and be willing, if you're experimenting, to say, mm, I don't like that, I'm gonna go back and do it a different way. For me, I think I have done enough diamond paintings that I wasn't generally too fussed about what it was gonna look like at the end. I just jumped in and did it. I have a lot of ABs that I'm substituting in my diamond painting Deutschland Josephine wall that I'm currently doing. But again, some things don't match exactly. So like I was saying, these are some 522 ABs and this is DMC 522 according to the schematic, you can see these are not exactly the same color. My ABs are slightly darker. However, again for me, I'm okay if they don't match exactly because you're not gonna be looking at the bottom, you're gonna be looking at the top. And also for this particular color, you can see there's not that many drills, so I have plenty to substitute all of them, in which case you'd never be able to tell the difference because there won't be any of these on the canvas because I would have substituted all of these. So it's just a matter of playing around and figuring out what you like. The fairy dust drills, the ones that are coated with the mica powder seem super popular. So a lot of people are working with those. I've done a diamond art club with glow in the dark drills. It was one of my butterfly, no, it was the butterfly dragon that had glow in the dark drills. But generally for me, I stick to ABs. Like I said, I've only done one kit that had any fairy dust drills in it because I'm currently working from the oldest of my diamond paintings forward. So a lot of my older diamond paintings don't have any specialty drills in them. That, like I said, is becoming more and more prevalent for kind of all diamond paintings these days. So there's lots of options, whether you wanna buy a kit that has them included, whether you wanna buy an enhancement kit from a drill company where they've kind of put everything together for a particular canvas that you might need, or whether you just wanna jump in with both feet like I do and see what happens. I don't think you can go wrong, honestly. Now, like I said, for me personally, I don't substitute 310 or kind of dark colors like the 939 and I don't substitute skin colors. That doesn't mean you can't do it. Those are my personal opinions and I don't happen to personally like the way those look, but you may feel differently. Like I said, I experimented with adding in metallic drills and my jewels in Vern. I actually added in when I did my Kaori from Crafties. Crafties is another company that includes a lot of crystal rhinestones with their drills. I substituted an AB, it was a yellow AB, and I thought it would look better in gold, that it would be closer to the original picture. So I substituted that and it turned out wonderfully. I'm so happy that I did it and I think it turned out way better than the original. So yeah, again, I think the, the biggest tip is to just do what makes you happy, right? This is a hobby that we are doing for relaxation, for enjoyment. If you are trying to do things that frustrate you or that feel bad, you're financially stretching yourself, you're emotionally stretching yourself, mentally stretching yourself because you're just not sure how things are gonna turn out, don't do it. Don't let anybody make you think that you have to have tried how to add bling to a canvas or you're somehow not a real diamond painter. 
It's about you, your hobby, and the enjoyment that you get out of it. Okay, guys, I think that's it. Hopefully this was helpful to you. If you feel like I forgot anything, if you're someone who has added enhancements before, done your own bling thing, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if I forgot anything. If any of this was helpful to you, let me know that too. I really enjoy trying to bring kind of informative educational videos to you guys. And so I hope I'm not missing the mark with these, but let me know. That's it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for sticking around till the end of the video. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.